it was around 12.15 p.m. when I had the last of the chicken and rice mom made the other day. And then I'm currently having leftovers from a pasta dish mom made around 6 p.m. One that consisted of spaghetti with red or marinara sauce with cheese sprinkled on top. And she also made corn on the cob with melted butter. Of which this is the other one she made. The rest in the refrigerator are currently raw and thus more likely to be pretty hard. Around that time, I had been woken up around 5.15 p.m. Or around 6 p.m., depending on whether it was... Mom calling that dinner was ready or a random call from a number I didn't know that woke me up. Either way, I woke up in the early evening for that pasta meal. And then after quick, quickly eating that meal while making some small talk with mom because during the meal I felt like Going back to lying down on the bed in my bedroom, I think I ended up falling asleep again, waking up pretty late, and then around that time, I did some work on the 99th Dan Hamming episode. I went to the new first raw video file. Yeah, for the episode and added some extra dialogue between the female of the trio and the Caucasian male of the trio. Uh, she, I gave her a green 
cap of sorts. And maybe it's technically called a beanie, and I gave uh, the male I just described a yellow jacket. Uh, for the episode. Uh, the raw video file uh, that I worked on today and that I'm currently working on is an attempt to make the trio seem uh, like actual people in a sort of way. And try to provide reasoning for what happens later in the episode. I've added roughly 10 seconds of dialogue using some new scenes for that raw video file since uh, generally these days I don't like for the same scene to be held more than a few seconds if I can help it. And I felt that how it was going, prior to me adding that extra dialogue, it didn't quite capture what I wanted to capture for this new big scene I'm working on. What from being roughly at 47 seconds long to now more about 57 seconds long. And I know I'm going to have to add, make another brief raw video file in order to add a brief transition scene. And something to that effect, or I'll have to change the second raw video file. Yeah, which I'm hoping doesn't cause any, cause any complications. Hmm. Yeah, today was the day I uploaded the my dinner video for May 29. Yeah, I got to work on that pretty much as soon as I got up for the first time today. I think it was around... 8 in the morning. Eight or nine in the morning. Or maybe it was around eight when the video uploaded. Either way, it were the, it were the early morning hours, when I got to work on uploading the May 29 My Dinner video. As for the May 29 video footage I took of the aftermath of the 26 whole blood donation, It was five and a half minutes and didn't require 
any special editing. Just had to put the two video clips together using the UCut app. Same thing I do for all the my dinner videos these days, but I got concerned regarding uh, some conversation in the background between uh, staff and volunteers of that blood donation center. And on mobile, on the videos, I couldn't really make out uh, what they were saying. And plugging in the headphones of my laptop into my smartphone it didn't seem to help much Oh, uh, wall sound did come out. It was automatically turned down lower. It, because they had plugged in headphones. It turned down lower because they had plugged in headphones as a precaution against noise induced hearing damage. I assumed that if I turned it back up to max volume, it would be just like how the audio was without the headphones. And I still wouldn't be able to make out what the staff and volunteers were talking about. For the most part. And whatever bot does. YouTube's. Transcripts of the audio in a video. Also couldn't make out. What the staff and volunteers were talking about. So it made me assume that and nobody would really be able to tell what the staff and volunteers were talking about. And that those concerns are ultimately what led me to wait until the the evening to upload that aftermath footage of the 26 whole blood donation to YouTube. Uh, it was around noon at 11.53 in the morning Then I finished my first cup styrofoam drawing in a little over a year in order to make something uh, 
encouraging blood donations since it's something that I've done a lot of times in the past as of May 29 now 26 times and I could also do something on platelets though I've only successfully done that once and I would need to get another styrofoam cup in order to do that. Uh, Dad called me a few times throughout the morning, noon, and early afternoon hours. Uh, but at around after a four fifteen four fifteen p.m. call in which in which he suggested that. He might pick me up either today or tomorrow uh, for a stay at his place. And I ended up uh, falling asleep. I think uh, sometime afterwards. Uh, I ended up uh, not hearing from him uh, since. I tried to uh, call him very late today, but as of now, I I haven't uh, heard back from him yet. I'll call him early in the morning. I'm typically able to call and be answered around that time and with only a little variation depending on variation on the exact appropriate time to call depending on if he has work that day or not Uh, during one of our phone conversations, Dad said that uh, today was uh, very hot, uh, brushing up against the low 90s Fahrenheit, to speak, and that was partially contributed as to why I stayed inside today. Uh, that and I wanted, I was thinking every now and then about what exactly I wanted to do for this new first raw video file I was working on for the 99 Dad Hamming episode and uh, what I wanted to draw next on Styrofoam, essentially. Mom said she used a bit of this seasoning for uh, the pasta dish. It must have truly been just a bit because I couldn't really taste it much, if at all, against all the marinara sauce. Uh, still, it was a nice thought. <laughs> 